G'day guys and girls, how you going? It's your boy Jable 1990 and welcome to episode number 4. I'm recording a lot of these. This is episode number 4 of our Minoholic Pure Vanilla Survival Let's Play. So on the last episode, you guys can remember, I talked about this fence, getting this, um, making our donkey, naming him Alfred. You can see that the leads are still glitching. We've got our donkey and we've got a new horse and stuff. Where is he? Over there. Um, and... I think that was it. I had the donkey and I had my horse. I just got the donkey, I think, and talked about how it despawned last time. Well, it happened again. Uh, not with these two. These two are okay. This horse was another horse. That sounds so confusing. But I had a different horse and I went to go visit one of... Uh, went to go visit Dude123. Shout out. Um, <laughs> went to go visit him and... Man, funny, like, most retarded story. I was riding my horse, just galloping along... Uh, and I fell down a ravine. <laughs> Fail! And, um, fell down a ravine and finally, like, took an hour to get out and then it was night time. Got surrounded by, like, 50 zombies and the the horsey got killed. So, long story short, that's pretty much what happened. My horse got killed. I could have just said that. So, got a new horse. Um, don't know why. The Look, the leads are glitching. They're not on leads. I could push you. And see, hey, calm down. But then if you just, I don't know why. I look too, I can't, oh, yes, I can. My dog wasn't sitting before. And if you right-click the lead, it just... Look. That's what's happening. They're supposed to be on the ground, but for some reason, they are just detaching from the horses. So if I come over here, it, it's, it looks like... On the screen, it looks like it's here, but it's really supposed to be down there. It's They're really, really buggy. Where'd it go? Pick it up. Dang it. Get a little bit of server lag, but um, that's okay. So anyway, I don't want to waste too much time on this episode because I want to talk to you guys about what's been going on. It's been really, really fun. I've been having a lot of fun on this server. I played a lot today, and so I wanted to show you guys. Alfred, come here. Alfred. Me and Alfred have been hanging out a lot lately, haven't we, buddy? Because we have been collecting clay. So if, uh, what I'll show you guys now, what I've been doing, you can see on screen right now, this was an image taken of this chunk of land that's just behind my house that um, I just cleared out. You can see that that's kind of what happened to it. So if we come over here, I'll quickly show you guys what it looks like now. Uh, it pretty much looks exactly like in that last image, just one more layer down, and I added a nether portal. Well, actually, Ink, Inkaholic, shout out, um, <laughs> added that portal. He's, he kind of surprised me with it. And I've just cleared this out because this is where I'm going to be moving everything. I'm going to be moving the horses and little Alfred over here because I want to build a barn. I'm going to start the build in this episode. Uh-oh, frame droppage. I hope that didn't lag my audio. Uh-oh, I'm getting really bad, really bad frame drop right now. Let's check my, check my stats. Oh, my frames went back up. Anyway, um, I'm going to start building this. I'm just going to talk to you guys about it, and then I'll just end the episode. So when we come back, you guys will see the full build. I'm going to build a barn here, and over on this side, I'm going to have my house. I said to you guys, I remember you saying in episode number one, that that's only going to be temporary, which it is. I'm going to be moving my house to here, um, and so that's what we're going to be doing. So for the past couple of hours today, I've been gathering clay and stuff. So... Um, like you can see on screen right now, we just quickly went around and grabbed some clay. Then I had to go down to the nether and get some quartz because that's the second material I want to use to build this barn. And when we, when I come back, I was down and just doing my thing. Ink, Inkaholic told me that he built a portal to my home because what's very interesting, uh, I don't know if this intrigues any one of you guys, but it might help a little bit. If you guys are doing a 1.6 survival gameplay, of, of any kind or it may not even have to be survival it could be on a server if you have a nether portal you can actually take your horses through it and what's interesting what I'm, I might actually demonstrate that for you it's kind of like time or like warping warping horses we'll take Alfred because Alfred's been really good with this lately um, anyway my point is you can take your animals through nether portals and I'm sure most of you guys should be familiar with this aspect. When you have multiple people playing on the same server, sometimes nether portals can link up, which in this case, it does. So we we'll take Alfred here, and we'll just jump over this fence, and we'll go through this nether portal. This is, look, look how buggy it is. I'm just freak, freaking out right now. My frames are just dropping. Sometimes happens when I join, but anyway. Um, so we can drag this guy through the nether, and what it's going to do, I'll show you guys the nether base. So this is all props to Ink because he built it for me. Um, 
we we're testing to see what would happen. So if I walk through here, drag my donkey through, yeah. you can see he disappears. I want to grab that lead. And we'll go to the nether portal. This is my nether portal that links me through to my portal into the nether. So you can see Alfred's here. We'll grab him and pull him through. Come on, Alfred. Come out. Uh-oh. Don't tell me you're going to start bugging out on me, man. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. Alfred, come on. Okay, give me the lead. Um, so what we've decided to do and test out is we can actually... Look, our horses are in the nether. How cool is that? So instead of traveling and falling down ravines like a noob and doing it the hard way, why don't we just do it the cheap way? Go underground, come to hell, ride our horses through hell. Oh, looks like a ghast has blown that up. And we've actually ink dug this tunnel to link up with his nether portal. And yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh snap. Oh my god, there's a ghast. Come on, let's get up these stairs. Come on, Alfred. <laughs> We ride into the night. So this is Ink's portal that, uh, that he built that was linked up to his place. So hopefully it's going to work for you guys. Sometimes it's a little bit buggy. Sometimes it's not. So you can see he disappeared. Uh oh. I'm freezing up. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Oh my god. That was weird. This only happens when I'm recording. So I'll come through here through the nether portal into Ink's place. And <laughs> look at that. How, how cool is that? I thought it was a glitch too, and I don't know what's going on here. Come on, come on, Alfred. Good boy. <laughs> so we've actually decided to use this as transportation. So if you guys are familiar with Inkaholic's channel, shout out, that um, <laughs> you guys should know that this is his barn that he built for his, come on, Alfred, I know you can make this jump. I'm really bad with timing with horses. Come on, like their jumps. Eh. Come on, Alfred. I'm going to spend like a whole entire episode just trying to get this jump right. Oh my god, Jay. Seriously. But I don't know. I know Dude123 has this similar problem. We get really bad lag with horses and stuff. Which I'm not too sure what it is. But look, you can see when I run, it's just really laggy. But this is Inkaholic's place. So um, he lives... Well, everyone else lives close by... We've got Dude123, Drain Eclipse, and... Uh, oh my god, I feel so bad. I forget the other guy's name. Uh, but yeah, so this is the way that we link up our our homes and our nether portals. We we use nether portals. So instead of just traveling, oh my god, this lag! <laughs> instead of just traveling, we decide to um, see just shove our horses into the nether and just go that way. I'm hoping that this gas didn't leave a fire blaze trail. Hopefully, me and Alfred we can get past here pretty easily. So we're going to go back to, head back to our place and we're going to start this. I just want to inch over here to make sure that I'm not going to be running good old Alfie into, yep, oh, okay, it's there. So let's just belt because I can hear that gas to our right. Yeah, he's still there. So we're just going to leg it. <laughs> we're going to ride back, riding through the gaps of hell. And I'll go back through and patch that up. So I'm going to show you guys what the plan is and how much clay I've been collecting because it's a lot of clay. And uh, we're going to get building on the barnyard, and then we can just go from there. So it's going to be really exciting. Um, <laughs> Pigment. Get. Come on, Alfred. Alfred. Come on. Come. Come. Get your wish in the, in the portal. Yeah, good boy. So it is. it just makes it so much easier than having to ride through all this really difficult and treacherous terrain and stuff. Oh, come on, Alfred. Let me... Dang it. You're being glitchy again. Come here, Alfred. Let's ride this guy back home and tie him up before the mobs come because zombies are a nightmare. So I'll go to sleep because I'm the only one on this server at the moment. So we'll go to sleep and we can... um We can continue on with this and I'll show you guys what I'm going to build. Well, I can't show you yet, but you get the idea. So I did get myself a puppy. I don't know... You, is he up here or did he go down there? I can't remember. He's somewhere. I think he's downstairs. So let's sleep. I said sleep. And watch this. Look at that. This bed is occupied. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> so yeah, it's a nice view. You can see up here. This is what I've been doing. I've marked it all out. It's just very rough at the moment. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this is what we want to do. We want to just uh, want to clear some space. What do we want to do? 
I'm not really hungry. So we're going to come in here and you can see this is what I've been doing, collecting clay clay blocks for the win. Let's, let's just do that. Let's just fill our inventory. Let's take out these. That's it. Awesome. Clays for days. And we'll, we, might, we might let our puppy come out for a walk. Cumin booty. I haven't figured out a name. I'm still pondering. I know a lot of you guys have been making suggestions for the horse. Well, horses now. Um, to name them. I still don't know what I'm going to call them yet. Um, I'll think of it. So now I've just, I've st now I've got to figure out a name for my damn dog now too. So the idea for this is going to be very similar to um, Inkaholic's idea. Um, I was thinking about this when I started this server because I wanted to build like a farm style type of area like I did on the Social Craft series. And it's not going to be to kind of be identical to that. It's just... Um, I don't know why, it's, it's just the style that I'm going for, it's just what I've chosen, it's just what I want to do, so I'm sticking with it. I've got this idea in my head that I want to stick to, and I'm going to see how it goes. So this, what I'm doing right now, right this second, I don't know how it's going to turn out, I'm just kind of just building and just going to go with it. I just know that I had this idea in my head that I wanted to use red stained clay blocks and quartz to make a barn house, and then the house second. So I'm going to see how that goes, and we should just, the dog's just following me. And we'll just see what happens from there. Hopefully, ooh, hopefully it works out, and I know, I'm pretty sure the size of this thing, I'm gonna need a lot of clay, and that's what me and Alfred have been doing. Move, dang it! I don't know what I'm gonna name you, Zeus or something. I had a dog on one of my old single-player campaigns that I called Zeus. I don't know why, I just did. <laughs> why not? Whoopsies. So I think that's the center, roughly. I think. Mm, no, I think it's fail. There. Let's count one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So that's the middle. Um, I've got an idea for what I want the inside to look, but the outside is something completely, is a completely different story. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, three. For at the start of this episode, I'm going to continue this build, and then you guys are going to get to see the finished product on the very next episode. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed, <laughs> you should have by now. I've been uploading a lot of these episodes because I'm just having so much damn fun on this server. Um, I, I say it all the time, it's such a whoa, it's such a good, um, it's such it's so good to be able to get a break from servers and plugins and mods and complaining little kids and stuff no offense to anyone who might be a complaining little kid but <laughs> it's such a nice break to be on here with other people who uh, are in it for the same type of reasons and just to be able to build it takes you back to the basics of Minecraft so it's great so I'm gonna leave it here guys and I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of our Minoholic Survival Let's Play please uh, guys I really want you to hit that like button um, just take two seconds if you can just show the support for this server it helps out a tremendous tremendous way and um, I really do appreciate it so thank you guys for watching stay tuned for the next episode which may even be tomorrow I'm not too sure <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and I shall see you guys next time